All y'all niggas went upside down cross. Even my little partners, man. Well, Stop that lame. shit while you look lame. All that worship the devil shit. He was God, man. All right, I've been telling Pharaoh, Mr. Telefero TV, what you just seen were words from all set of amigos and now you're watching Lil Uzi Vert do the exact opposite in the last 24 hours of a, what Offset, Offset asked him to not do, all right? Try to break this down the best way I can. Offset is against anybody who will wear their chain upside down. This is Lil Uzi's thing. I think he's been called Lucifer or something like that a lot of times. I think his name comes from that. I don't know. I don't stay in, in tune with all this small talk bullshit. All right, I try to keep it to the music, but since we're talking about religion, I will say this. Not a big fan of anybody that talks down on my God and, and, and thinks that it's cool to wear their chain backwards, but these are the people that you guys have empowered. These are the people that you listen to bar for bar. Now, I could get in this long conversation about how Lil Uzi has to answer his God, but he the answer to his God, he should know that, all right? I'm a God-fearing man. I believe in my God. I believe that Jesus died for my sins. And I just want to make that clear in the grand scheme of things. I don't get to have all the, 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 the wins that I've had in my career thus far and in such a young career without believing in my God. I just don't get to that point because a lot of things I've done, I've stepped out on faith. Let me make that clear. And when we're talking Lil Uzi Vert, we're talking about a guy who has benefited from Offset tremendously y'all must have forgot that bad and bougie record well that wasn't quavo's record that wasn't takeoff's record usually quavo's the one that's bringing in these clever hooks for the migos or they he's usually the one behind the madness on the hooks that wasn't the case offset brought bad and bougie to quavo and quavo just hopped on that bad boy and then they got uzi vert for it you forgot about that, Uzi. That's your biggest record to date. You must have forgot about that success. I'm just saying, it's like he, he's kind of trolling um, Offset. He already wears the chains upside down or whatever the hell it is, backwards or whatever. The, the Jesus pieces, he wears them like that. Um, but over the last 24 hours, he's been going out of his way to post videos on his snap or whatever it is to show people that this is how he rocks his chains and he's going to continue to do that. All right? Offset, I don't think, meant anything rude in that, but... Um, what is this the scripture? If you deny me in front of the people, I'll deny you at the, at the crossroads when you're trying to get into the gates of heaven. It's some similar to that. That's in the Bible. Again, I'm not going to get too biblical on you guys, but Offset, I saluted. Offset was in the middle of a, just a video. And he was like, bro, I'm, I'm sick of watching people wear these upside down chains. You forgot God got you to this point. I, and I like it. I respect it. And I don't respect a lot of what how Offset has moved outside of the music. I'm a fan of the music, but outside of that, he's made some questionable decisions at best. But I can only do so much but salute a brother who says, look, man, God has helped me get to my point. Honestly, for me, God is everything. But I, I salute Offset for saying, God has helped me get to my point. And even if it's a rapper, a friend of mine, a colleague, a partner of mine, we ain't rocking with y'all and wearing these chains as if the devil or the Illuminati has helped you guys get to the, the spot that you guys in. I think this guy who has this record out on the airways, I forgot his name, that quick Shimbaba, whatever the hell his name is. I might come back and talk about him and Offset. I've been into it. Um, I might come back and do that in, in an hour or so. But this is more or less about Lil Uzi Vert. All right, Lil Uzi Vert has been trolling Offset for the last day or so, ever since Offset posted this video that I showed you guys at the beginning of this video. And what do you guys think about all this? Lil Uzi Vert's pretty dedicated to wearing his chains upside down, whatever you want to call it. And um, a lot of people are offended by it. I mean, you got all, again, you guys empower these artists. If you really feel some type of way, stop listening to the music. But that's not going to happen because y'all rock with that love is raised too damn much. I think Lil Uzi's a dope talent. Um, does that mean Telefair's going to stop listening to him? Um, I doubt it. I'm somebody who can separate the artist from his artistry. And um, we've we've historically had to do that with a lot of guys and, and women over time, but I mean it definitely Lil has just been rocking corny over the last month or so. Um, I just think these guys are divas. Lil Uzi's a diva, right? To the to the maximum, he's a diva. The way he moves, the way he rocks, the way the clothes that he wears, just a diva, man. The way he dresses, the way he dances on stage. All of his diva. It looks like he's a seek seeking attention. It looks like that's been his whole spill his, his, since he's been on the scene, is seeking attention. And it looks like 
Offset gave him the time of day. Average Teller Fair, Miss Teller Fair TV. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for the time, love, support. Don't take it for granted. 70K and counting, I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at his